Welcome to Pack Publishing's video course on building an app UI with Prime Faces. In this section, we will create the Spring and Mongo classes that will be used by the web pages. Open Sources Packages and right click on the package. Click New and then Java class. The new Java class window will pop up. Enter the class name as Person. Enter the package name as com.mycompany packed prime UI demo dot model. Click Finish when done. Create three private class variables of type string with the names ID, first name, and surname. Press Enter a couple of times to make space, and then press Alt plus Insert or right click and select Insert Code. Select Getter and Setter from the menu that pops up. Select the variables in the window and click Generate. This will create getters and setters for the variables. Create a constructor that will generate and set the ID automatically using the random UUID method on the UUID class. Add the class annotation add document above the name of the class. The add document annotation identifies a domain object to be persisted to MongoDB. Also add at ID above the ID field. This will become the primary key field. Press Ctrl Shift I. The Fix All Imports box will pop up. Select org.springframework.data.mongodb.core.mapping.document and org.springframework.data.annotation.id and click OK to accept the imports. Now we need a managed bin for the admin web page so that the page will actually add data when the add button is clicked. Right click on the .web.bean package, click new and then Java class. The new Java class window will pop up. Enter the class name as person admin bean. Click finish when done. Remember the package name should also be the package name defined in the application context.xml in the component scan tag. Add the annotations at controller and at scope above the name of the class so that the web page will be able to call methods from it. Press Ctrl Shift I and the Fix All Imports box will pop up. Make sure to select org.springframework.web.context.webapplicationcontext.scope request for the scope request and org.springframework.context.annotation.scope for the scope and org.springframework.stereotype.controller for the controller. Click OK if the correct imports are displayed. Implement the serializable interface by adding implements java.io.serializable after the class name. This will mean the web server will be able to serialize the object and you will not receive java.io not serializable exception exceptions at runtime. You now have a managed bin that the admin web page will be able to find and call methods from. Right click on any package, click new and then Java class. The new Java class window will pop up. Enter the class name as person service. Enter the package name as com.mycompany.packedprimeuidemo.service. Click on finish. The class now has to be changed so that it can be injected into person admin bean. Add the annotation at service above the class name. Press Ctrl Shift I and the Fix All Imports box will pop up. Make sure to select org.springframework.stereotype.service and click OK to accept the imports. Open application context.xml. It is located other sources and in source main resources. Add the package of the service to the scan.